So now, we will hold the device with the electrodes here and the handle. Also, on the other side, we have the knob. Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Omar from Detective Shop Company in Dubai. We are authorized agent in Dubai and Middle East to sell all detecting devices that can detect gold, metals, and underground water. Today, we will present you the new brand device, Delta Ranger Professional from OKM Factory. It works with a six search system, Ionic Stream, Bionic Stream, Magnetometer System, 3D Ground Scan, also Thermo Stream, and finally the Thermo Scan. It can detect gold, treasures, void, tunnels, and tombs with a depth of 18 meters. And now I'll show you guys the accessories that comes with the device. First, we have the main unit, and we have the three props that comes with a professional package. We have a long range prop, a thermal prop, also a ground scan prop. Here we have the charging adapter and the USB cable for the main unit. Also, the device comes with a smartphone and the charger and the cable and the earphone that comes with it. Also, a travel adapter, a USB flash memory, a notebook computer from Windows, and the headphone and the cables that comes with it. Also here we have the other side, all the papers and the guarantee cards that comes with the device and the case. And now I'll show you guys the setting on the device. First, we'll turn on the unit by pressing it here. Also, we can attach the phone by a magnet through the handle. Now, we'll turn on the smartphone we have the OKM Delta app, we will press on it. First we have the main menu, we have here the connection bar, also the flashlight and the battery level for both the smartphone and the main unit. Also we have a 14 language that we can choose our preferred language. First we have the bi Bionic Stream, the Ionic Stream, Magnetometer, a 3D ground scan, Thermo Scan, a Thermo Stream, and here we have the file explorer that we can open our save files. Here we have the setting. We have 14 language that comes with the device. We can choose whatever our preferred language. So we'll choose English. We have the sound that we can control it by pressing on and off. The vibration, the GPS, the day mode and the night mode. Also here we have the length unit, we can choose in a foot or in a meter. Here we have the temperature unit, Celsius or Fahrenheit. Here we have the set crosshairs position and the calibrate for compass. Also we have the activate app for the software and if there's any updates we can press it here. Now we'll go back and here we have the information. And now after we connect the long range prop here, now we use this prop for the bionic and the ionic stream. So now we will go with the bionic stream. Now we use this system to detect freshly buried gold. So now we will hold the device with the electrodes here and the handle. Also on the other side we have the knob so we can change it until we have the value between 250 and 254 is the ideal. So now we'll wait for three seconds and we'll go ahead and press the check mark. Now we have this icon is for to calibrate the laser with the crosshair here. Also here we can change the designs. We have five designs and here we can calibrate the device again. And now we'll show you guys how to use the bionic string. And now we'll show you guys how to use and perform in the bionic stream. So first we will hold the device in this way and we're going to move from left to right or right to left. Also we can move the device if you are on top of hill or mountain, we can move it in this way and we should always face north to south. So the second thing is we're going to use the cross bearing or triangulation method. So we're going to scan from our first position here and we're going to move to our second position that's not less than 25 meter and no more than 500 meter. And if you have a target, we're gonna confirm it by three things. The sound, the vibration, and the flashy crosshairs. And now we'll show you guys how to use the Ionic Stream. Now we use this system to detect long time buried gold. So here we we'll click in the Ionic Stream. And now here in the screen, we will hold the material that we want 
to look for in the front of the tip of the device. Also, keep a distance of about 4 inches or 10 centimeters and click the trigger or the check mark here. How to use the Ionic Stream? So first, we will hold the device horizontally and move it side to side to detect for our target. Also, we can move it up and down and we should avoid aiming the device too high. And now we're going to use something that's called cross bearing or triangulation. So we're going to scan from one position and move to the other position that's a distance between them not less than 25 meter and not more than 500 meter. And we can use and perform more than two to confirm our target and that's called control scan. So now we need to confirm our target by three things, the sound, the vibration and the flashy crosshair. And now we'll show you guys how to use the magnetometer system. Now we use the system to detect for our first metals. Also we can use it as a preparation for the 3D ground scan. And lastly, we can use it as a pinpointer. And now after we connect here the ground prop, we will choose the magnetometer. And now I'll explain to you guys the magnetometer view. Here we have the icons. First we have the ground balance icon. We have the three sensitivities that we can change. Also we have the ferro pointer view. Now in this magnetometer view, if we have a red graph, that means we have a positive magnetic pole of a ferrous object. If we have a green, that means we have no ferrous or magnetic target object. And the blue is for the negative magnetic pole object. And the same thing is for the ferro pointer view. I will show you guys how to use the magnetometer system. So we can either choose vertically or horizontally. So now we'll click on the magnetometer. First thing we need to do is to calibrate the device. So we're going to click here in the calibrate and we can move even straight or to the left or to the right. And now if we have a target, we're going to confirm it by three things. The sound, the vibration and the graph that shows us here in the screen. And now we move the, to the 3D ground scan system. Now we'll show you guys how to use the 3D ground scan. So we click here. Here we have the option to choose the default or the customize. So if you choose the default, it's gonna take us with the automatic setting of the device. And if we choose the customize, we have to enter the length and we have to choose the impulses if it's manual or if it's automatic. Also the scan mode, we have to choose if it's zigzag or puddle. And now we'll show you guys and de demonstrate how to use the 3D ground scan system. And now we'll show you guys how to use the 3D ground scan. So first, we're gonna aim the device to the ground and we should always start from right to left. Also, the bigger the picture we're taking, the more accurate the picture will be. So first, we'll press on the trigger and start the scanning. And now we're going to take a step to the left. And now after we finish the scan, we're going to click here. And here it's going to ask us to save the scan. We're going to press yes. And here we have to enter the field length and the field width. So we put three by five and we're gonna save the scan. And now we're gonna move the file from the main unit to the laptop. Also here you can see a quick review for the picture and the number of the line and the impulses. Also here we can change the view of the picture. And now I'll show you guys how to move and transfer the file from the phone here to the laptop. So first we connected the USB and now we'll go here and press on the file transfer. After that, we're gonna go to the laptop here. We're gonna open OKM terminal and we can go here. 
and internal storage. Now we're going to go to the documents. Here we have OKN, Delta Ranger, and then we're going to choose the ground scan or the thermal scan. Here we can transfer the file and we're going to put it here at the desktop. Now we open the file, we're going to press here open and go to the desktop and here we will see our file that we already transferred. And now we'll show you guys how to analyze the picture on OKM Visualizer 3D Studio. So here we have a picture for example that we already took and we can choose the icons that we want to see. Here we have the pick icon where we can move the axis and see the depth in centimeters and meters. Also here we can rotate the picture and the laptop is supported by touch screen so we can use that as well. And also we have the move icon where we can move the shape. And here we have the zoom in, zoom out picture. And now here we have a, we can see the target from a different view. Front view and here we can reset the picture to the default mode. And now we move to the other side, we have the soil types here. So we can select our soil type. We have clay, concrete, gravel, limestone, loam and etc. So it's very important to select the right type of soil because it's going to give us the right depth. Here we have the scan information, you can see the general, we have the time, we have the operating mode and the measuring values and also we have the GPS lo location so if we decide to put the coordinates it's going to show us here and also we have the impulses and the scan line and the depth as well. So let's say for example. We have the pick icon here, we're going to click here in the picture and we're going to move the axis. As we can see here, the depth is changing, also the scan line is going to give us a 25 centimeters between each step and we can see also the impulses. And now here we're going to move to the bookmarks so we can put a bookmark on whatever target that we can select. And here we have the modifiers, we have four different modifiers. And here we have the visualization. So we can press it and select our preferred visualization that we, can, we see here in the picture. And also we have the transformation button. So we can move and select the picture manually by the arrow here. And for the rotation as well, we can rotate the picture. And also we can move the picture to the left or the right from here. And here we can zoom in and zoom out in the picture. And now we move here to the top. We have the import icon where we can import our picture. And here we have the open file. So if you save a file, we can open it from here. And here we can save our work. Here is the characteristics. So we can see the general information, the scan field overlay, as you can see here. Also we can select our soil type and we have the, the metadata. Here we have the tablet mode. Also here we have the auto scale. And here we have the different viewports, so we can put it here and we can see and divide the pictures. So here we have the four views that we can see the picture. And here we have the setting, the general information, where we can see and change a lot of options for the background color, the active frame color, and the GPS coordinates. Also we have the folders and the visualization. 
And now for the colors, the blue for voids, tunnels, water and non-metallic items, the green color for normal soil, the yellow and orange for high mineralized soil, and the red color for metals or sometimes for highly mineralized soils. And now we'll use the thermal stream system. Now we use the system to explore a known location and detect structures like rooms, caves, and tunnels behind walls, also underground, based on the surface temperature deviation. So now we'll go ahead and select the thermal stream. Here we'll see a cloud. We have this icon for the laser point. Also here we can change the transparency of the cloud here. And here we have the measurement scale also with the temperature that's shown here. We can identify our target by the color point cloud over here and the pointer on the temperature scale and the measured value between each target that we scan. And now we will use the thermoscan system. Now we use this system to visualize structures like room, caves, tunnels based on temperature deviation. So we'll go ahead and select the thermoscan. Here we can choose the default or customize. We'll choose customize. We have from one meter until 50 meter for a filling length that we can choose. We'll choose auto. We have the manual mode and we have the automatic. Now for the manual, each step we have to take, we're gonna press on the trigger to take the picture. And for the automatic, at the end of the line, we're gonna stop and go to the second line automatically. Here we have the scan mode for parallel or we can choose a zigzag. And now we'll start scanning and show you guys how to use the thermoscan system. And now we'll show you guys how to use the thermoscan. So we can either choose to scan the wall or the ground. Also we should always start from right to left. And since we choose the automatic mode, we're gonna press at the end of the line the trigger and take a step to the left and able to start our second line. So now we're gonna start here and press the trigger and we're gonna stop here. And now here, after we finish the scan, we're gonna click here. It's gonna ask us to save the scan. And we're gonna enter the field length, which is about three meter, and the width, also five meter. Now we're gonna save the scan and move the file from the main unit to the laptop. Also here, we have the icons that show us how did we scan, and the lines and the impulses. Also here, we have the preview. And now we'll show you guys how to do the file transfer for the thermoscan from the phone to the laptop. So first we're going to connect it with the USB cable and here we will go to the notification and we will select file transfer. After that we will go to the OKM terminal and we'll choose OKM DRC, internal storage, documents, OKM, Delta Ranger, and here we can see the files we scan. We'll choose thermoscan and we're gonna move it here to my scans and we will open the file now. And now here we can see the picture. Now the light colors and the bright colors for high temperature and we can see here the dark colors for the low temperature. Delta Ranger is now available with the two packages, the professional package and the light package in Detective Shop in Dubai. We provide you five years of warranty and free training and shipping to all countries. To order the device or more information, contact us. Thank you for watching.